Hi, Python strings merge the tools and they have given a complex explanation. So what they basically want us to do is you are getting two inputs S and uh, K. You need to divide the string S by K. If uh, K is 3, you need to divide the S into substrings of three characters AAB, CAA and ADA. Within the substring, you need to remove the uh, duplicates and uh, print only the uh, unique values. So with AAB, you will remove A and you will print AB. And CAA, you will remove uh, the additional A and you will print only CA and so on. Let's move on to the code. First, let's try to get the substrings of length K. So for that, I'll use a loop for I in range of len of string so i'll look through the entire string and i'll first print the string characters string of i let me run the code so you are getting the individual uh, characters now we want it in uh, batch of uh, three so i'll just do i colon i plus uh, three so three here is k okay, so let's run the code okay so we are getting it in batches of uh, three but uh, what we want to do is we also need to do a step count so now it is starting from uh, a and it's printing a a b next it is starting from uh, the second a so we want to start from c so here i'll introduce a step count so we will start this range from uh, zero and i'll do a step count of uh, k let's run the code yeah, so we have this uh, substring uh, divided by k characters. I'll introduce a new empty string variable. Let's call it uh, new string is equal to uh, empty string. Now we'll loop through this uh, substring and check if the characters are in the new string. If it is uh, there, uh, then we won't do anything. If it is not there, then we will append it to the new string. So for now, let me just keep this uh, print statement. I'll use a new for loop for uh, letter in, we'll use this uh, substring string of i to i plus k. So if letter not in new string then new string is equal to new string plus letter okay so that's the logic now we will print it outside the loop print new string and once we printed this uh, new string we have to clear this new string so in the next loop uh, it will only have uh, the new values so i'll clear this uh, new string by assigning an empty string okay, so that's it it should work i'll uncomment this print statement now let's run the code So it printed the required output and pass the initial test case. Let me submit the code and it passed all the test cases. That's the solution. If you like the video, hit the like button and if you like the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.